Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. My name is Christian. And today we are sharing something so exciting with you guys. We moved to a lake house. We're actually here right now. We're in the middle of moving things, but we had to do an empty house tour to show you guys. We are just so excited. Like we look at each other every day and we cannot believe it. Like the opportunity came up, we jumped on it. We're like, we're changing everything up. We want to be outside more. We're, oh, we just want some change. And this is really what we wanted. So. Yeah, you've been really wanting this for a while. I've been always so about living on the water and we got a, a house on the water. It's, it's a so dream. Beautiful. We want to share everything with you guys, take you along the way, redecorating, making this whole house a home. So stay tuned for many, many makeovers to come. Should we show them around? Absolutely. Let's go. So this is our front entryway, which is so much wider and spacious than our old place. I can imagine just doing like styling here, a nice front entryway, some really slim shoe storage, do a nice mat. But the one thing we really, really love about this house is the new flooring. This is like a 50 something year old house, but they updated the floors and I'm very, very happy about that. They're nice like white oak flooring and it just brightens everything up in here. So they're gonna be really fun to decorate with. Let's move on into the big, what do I call this space? The best room of the house. Look how bright and happy this is. With a lake view too, it's unbeatable. So we already moved our dining table in here. It's literally the perfect table for this space. So long and I love the color of it. It's still all wrapped up from moving. Then we have this nice little fireplace in the corner. And I'm so excited to decorate this for Christmas. Like, can you imagine a big Christmas tree? And it's gonna be so cute. So these are here for now. I just kind of styled it, but this is gonna be like a nice open dining space. I wanted to make this wall really dramatic and do like a cool gallery wall or something like that. Across this wall here, we have a whole wall of windows. And right now they're all covered with vertical shades and you know, I feel like that's just kind of dating it a little bit. So we're gonna do like drapes and blinds and it's just gonna make it look so much more luxurious. So I'm really excited to change that up and have a really nice view in the space every single day. So obviously this room right here is like the best spot of the house. You have the view, the brightness, it's kind of a great entertaining space. So I'm kind of struggling of what to do with this space. Do I make it a TV room with like the TV up there, the sectional over here so that you're like always hanging out here? Or do I make it like a fancy living room? Let me know what you guys think down below. I'll show you guys the other option for the TV room. It's a little bit more cozy, but yeah, I don't know, still deciding on that. Take you guys into the kitchen. Ta-da! Oh my goodness, the sailboat threw out. Look how cute this is! You can't hate doing dishes if that's your view. This is where I'll be. So I have a few plans for this kitchen. We have some older granite countertops right now and I kind of want to do that whole renter friendly wrapping of the countertops to make it look like marble or something that just is less orange. I'm really excited for that. We'll do kind of a kitchen makeover in here so stay tuned for that. We also still need a fridge so I'm gonna be fridge shopping very very soon. Imagine that there. I love this little butcher block countertop, a little island that we can like prep food on and just like Honestly, any kitchen with an island is the best. Then we have this little breakfast nook. And I love this, because my table that I already have fits perfectly in here. We'll have our little chairs here and the best pantry. I love this pantry, look at this. Oh, how good is that? I'm gonna make this so cute with like all the jars and baskets and have pretty much all of the food over here. So, pantry makeover coming soon for sure because this is gonna be fun. 
And then we also have a walkout to the patio here. So again, vertical shades, I'll probably remove all of the vertical shades here do nice, uh, I don't know, maybe like curtains or something. And then that can walk outside to like the barbecue patio area. Now on the other side of the house, this is kind of where I'm thinking of doing the TV room, the den. This used to actually be a bedroom, but they took the doors off and created this space, which has like the TV hookup, another sliding door, really nice built-ins like oh, I've never had built-ins like this so I'm very excited to like style them and everything we're gonna do TV over here do a nice media unit obviously the nice floor continues into here and then I was thinking of doing the sectional in here some way still got to figure that out so yeah this is gonna be like a cozy room where we can like turn the lights down watch movies and I like that it's kind of away from everything so that if you have like noise and all that going on in here, you can kind of keep it over here. So I don't know, those things kind of go through my head. Anyways, let's head over to the powder room. This is our powder room. Wow, there's a lot of echo in here and there's a lot of mirrors, which is- Do you want to show them why you're sitting where you're sitting? I'm covering Christian from the view. Do you see him? You can't, you still can't even see me. You can't? Wow, we did really oh, good Oh wait, there, yeah, you saw me a little bit there. Oh there. my oh, God. He's sitting on the toilet. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know what the plans in here are gonna be, but I wanna make it a cool powder room. Maybe figure out some way to cover some mirrors because there's literally a mirror <laughs> right behind the toilet. So anyways, I'm not gonna get into that. We, um, yeah, I don't know. This is just a powder room with lots of mirrors. This is the primary bedroom. I love this space, the tall ceiling, this beam, it's bright, it's the perfect size, and we're going to put the bed on this wall. A lot of the house has texturing. This room is completely smooth, so we can do wallpaper, we can do paint, anything really, it's really fun. We also have these two sliding doors to closets. There's already like organization built into some of it. So we'll have that all organized looking really, really pretty, maybe color coordinated this time around. Oh, and it has a balcony. Ah! Look at this, the view, this is the sunset there. I just don't even know how to wrap my mind around this because it's so amazing. I want to do like loungers out there, maybe some kind of twinkle light, make it really cute. And then for the doors, I want to make it like a hotel in here so we can have blackouts and sheer curtains so that we have light coming in all the time, kind of creating some privacy and then blackouts for the nighttime. I don't, it, it's just going to be like a major transformation in here. Anyways, this is the primary bathroom. This is a great space. We have like the sink getting ready area and then the, the toilet and the shower and the bath are in there. One thing I really want to do in here is probably wrap the countertops as well because they're really busy and I don't know, I just notice them every single time I come in here. So we can totally transform this bathroom as well, make it a little bit cuter. So there's three bedrooms up here, one primary, two guest or two extra ones. For us, we like to use one of our bedrooms as Christian's room, his little man cave. This is gonna be it right here. It has windows, it has a closet, you can store all of this stuff. We're gonna make it, what, a gaming room slash guest room? I was thinking you were gonna put your monitors here, like TV mounted, and then, I don't know, maybe there or there, we can do like some kind of pull-out couch that doesn't take up space during the day, but if someone needs to sleep over, then you can pull it out. And I think it'd be like a really good use of space in here, right? Do you like your room? I love my room. <laughs> this room also has a little Jack and Jill bathroom, so it passes through into the guest room. So this will be the bathroom for guests. I think it needs the most updating out of everything, but that's fine with me. I think that'll be really fun. We can do a bathroom makeover in here. We have kind of like a dated lights and dated things, but we'll update it and make it really cute. Now here is gonna be the cute guest room. Oh, I love it already. Look at this white paneling. I love it. Just adds so much texture and style and I can just, 
imagine it being a really cute room already. I picked this room as the guest room because it's very symmetrical like and very square. So you can do bed, nightstands, lamps, make it look very cute. It's also kind of on its own side of the house here. And out here, I created a little guest closet area. Okay, it's not fully organized yet, but this is where all the supplies are. Towels. Tylenol, shampoo, all the things. So if our guests need anything, they can just come outside of their door, grab stuff, and feel comfortable. So we're so excited. I set this up immediately. Like as soon as we started bringing things over, I was like, gotta get the guest stuff set up. Anyways, I love that it's kind of tucked away from everything. It has its own side of the house here and it just feels private and cute. What do you think? I hope you guys like it as much as we do. Because we're just extremely excited about this house. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think down below. If you're as excited as we are, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. And make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming makeovers. There's a lot of updating to do, a lot of personalizing to do, and I'm so excited to have more space to do all of that. Also, we have another huge announcement coming yep. up on my channel in the next two weeks so make sure you guys stay tuned for that anyways click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next one bye